In our digital age, security has become more important than ever. Since we bank and make financial transactions online, it's crucial we take additional steps to protect our data and personal information from falling into the wrong hands. In this video, we'll cover two prevalent methods of online fraud, as well as the best ways you can prevent them. Farming and phishing are two similar forms of cybercrime. But we'll cover phishing later in the video. Farming is a sophisticated form of phishing that's more difficult to detect. It can pose a threat to even the most astute internet users. Like phishing, farming is where criminals trick victims into handing over sensitive information. The difference is that farming uses malicious code to redirect you to a fraudulent website automatically, instead of requiring you to click on a bad link. Not to get into the nitty gritty, but there are two types of farming attacks, malware-based and DNS server-based. The first influences your computer directly by exploiting the cache and changing its settings. The second is more sophisticated, since criminals attack the DNS server itself without accessing an individual computer. So how do you protect yourself? Well, farming starts with your computer or device. So make sure you have updated antivirus, anti-spyware, and your firewall is switched on. While not a guaranteed protection, you should check for secure web connections indicated by the padlock in your URL bar. Be wary of sketchy looking sites with spelling errors, consider using a VPN, and change the default password on your router. If you bank with N26, there are a number of preventative measures to keep your account secure from farming, like smartphone pairing, secure login, and the option to customize security settings directly with the N26 app. What's more, every N26 service uses end-to-end -end encryption to protect your data from such attacks. Phishing is more simple than farming, but just as dangerous. It's usually done over email or instant messaging and involves the criminal sending their target a link to a site where they can obtain their data or infect their device with malware. They do this by disguising themselves as trustworthy entities such as banks or other official institutions that the target might believe to be real. That's why the main way to protect yourself against phishing is to be vigilant. As security develops, so do phishing methods. So you should always be wary of new potential scams. Never share your login information to anyone. Use two-factor authentication where possible, double-check URLs from emails, and never click an email link that asks you to do an action you didn't intend to. While it's impossible to eliminate cybercrime entirely, N26 keeps a number of responsibilities to prevent phishing and protect your money and identity. For example, their customer support agents will never ask you for certain details over the phone or text. So, in summary, the best way to prevent all forms of cybercrime is to stay vigilant when you're online. Be sure you have up-to-date security in place and use a bank that is responsible for the protection of your money and data. For more finance and banking advice, subscribe to the N26 YouTube channel or check out n26.com.